Welcome to NX Media's tutorial. This video will cover the basics of inbound routing. One of the easiest ways to route inbound pages is to associate a user with an existing inbound fax number. To do this, we go to the main menu, select XM Fax, and then select Numbers. From the Fax Numbers screen, we can select any existing inbound fax number, and then select Edit. If we scroll down, we'll see the necessary fields to add an assigned user. In the input field, simply start by typing the first few letters of an existing user. In my case, I'm using my new user, which we can then add and then close out our activity by selecting Update. And as we can see here, the number has been updated with our user, and we can repeat this process as many times as we need to, adding additional users. But what if there was a faster way to do this? To access the incoming routing table, we'll go to the main menu, select Xmedia's Fax, and then Fax Settings. Once the Fax Settings are displayed, we can select the incoming routing table. To add a rule, we'll select Add, and then Add Direct Rule. The routing table is now displayed. One of the common routing elements is simply matching with your inbound fax number. This is called a DID, or Direct Inward Dial. It is very important to note, however, you must include plus one and then your full 10-digit number. Once we've selected our number, we can add destinations. Destinations are defined as user, mail, printer, folder, or even custom Python scripting. These destinations are created in the notification destinations area shown in the main menu on the left. One of the easiest destinations to create is a simple SMTP or email distribution list. So in this case, I'll just type in my email distribution list so we have something to work with. And then I'll select OK. That's it. I've created a new email distribution list that can be used as a destination in my incoming routing table. Let's return to the incoming routing table. I'll select Add, and we'll add a direct rule. Select Routing, and I'll match my DID or my inbound fax number and type in my information. In this case, just using my fax number. Select Add, and then I want to search for the type of destination. I'll select Mail, and then Search. I can see the results displayed, and the destination for my new email distribution list is present. I can select Add to List, and then scroll down and say OK. We've now completed all the steps required for a basic, simple inbound routing rule. You may want to test this. And so we can go into a testing routing table, and this is handy if you have multiple destinations. Simply type in your DID or fax number and select Test. And the results are returned, and we can see that, in fact, my distribution list is included as a destination. If you need to do more, we can access the Help menu and then select the XM Fax Administration Help. This is a searchable database, so we can type in Adding a Mail. In the results return, we can see Adding a Mail Notification Destination is available. This will provide more details about how to configure this. Thank you for watching. Additional information is always available at xmedius.com.